in this video under numbers and arithmetic which is one of the first topics for key stage 3 year 7 plus mathematics but anyone can learn we are going to learn in this video how to identify positive numbers natural numbers negative numbers whole numbers and integers and at the end of this video you will understand the proper terms to use when identifying these numbers this topic is important for kids to understand before they learn place value and ordering numbers next let's consider positive numbers naturally counting starts from one and not from zero kids naturally learn how to count from one for example we count from one to ten from one to twenty from one to hundred from one to two hundred and when we think of no stopping point no limit in the counting then counting can go on forever this is known as infinity to indicate counting on a two-dimensional plane on the considered plane or on a graph you're going to draw a horizontal straight line using a ruler a pencil or a pen next you're going to indicate a starting point somewhere at the middle we are going to call that starting point zero next we are going to indicate points one one unit away from each other after indicating the zero reference point the counting starts from one then two three four and continues to infinity in the direction of this arrow and because of the size of the plane the graph or the screen this 21 continues in this direction and this 41 continues after this 40 this 61 continues after the 60 this 81 continues after this 80 and the counting stops at 100 which is a defined limit for this counting the limit of where we stopped here is 100 however this arrow indicates that this continues to infinity but for convenience in the class in our assignments homework and exams numbers are chosen to accommodate the graph some kids defined limits could be 10 and some could be 20 and here we have up to 200 and the counting started from one these counting numbers that starts from one and continues to infinity are simply known as positive numbers you will understand the proper name for positive numbers in a minute however because these counting numbers are natural to humans from an early age in life they can also be called natural numbers zero is not a member of positive numbers or natural numbers zero is not a positive number zero is not a natural number kids naturally do not count from zero at this early age in life zero do not exist for them we use a straight line to indicate counting numbers and we usually start from a reference point which is always zero next we calibrate the steps required for these counting numbers and we are going to start counting from one then two three four five six seven eight nine ten and because of the size of the graph we're going to use an arrow to indicate that 11 12 13 100 500 
a thousand exist and we're going to call that continuous increment plus x also we can use plus infinity to represent that this counting numbers continues to infinity but teachers usually use x to represent the increment in the counting and later in your advanced classes you will use infinity it is easier to teach kids using plus x as continuous counting rather than using plus infinity which is appropriate for advanced classes positive or natural numbers are all the numbers that are greater than zero and we can say that all the numbers that are greater than zero are called natural numbers natural numbers are usually denoted with capital letter n you see we have been using positive numbers and natural numbers interchangeably where can we apply positive numbers and natural numbers in real life counting money receiving money to earn salary measuring heights measuring weights indicating time measuring length and distances you can observe that this car is at zero position but we start counting from one counting numbers helps us in the analysis of the periodic table for example we count in the increment of the atomic numbers across the group and increment in atomic size down the period identify other applications of positive numbers and natural numbers in real life which i believe you will do now you can identify positive numbers or natural numbers next let's consider negative numbers negative numbers like positive numbers have a zero reference point but start counting from minus one negative numbers are numbers that are less than zero and decreases continuously to infinity minus one is greater than minus two minus two is greater than minus three minus three is greater than minus four and this decreases continuously minus one is bigger than minus five zero is excluded from negative numbers negative numbers start counting from minus one zero is not a negative number whenever you want to list negative numbers always start from minus one where can we apply negative numbers in real life in the analysis of the stock market indication of how cold a place or an enclosure is to indicate how much you are owing someone or a bank as shown in the statement and if the negative balance becomes too large then the person needs help zero balance could indicate no transaction or a newly opened account negative number could also indicate how fast a city is sinking into the sea for example these houses were once above the sea level but after many years are now below the sea level if you boil water up to 100 degree celsius and allows the hot water to cool down if you cool this hot water down the more to zero degree celsius and cool it down to the negative it will become an ice what sign is attached to a negative number or to a positive number consider these numbers any number that acquires a negative for example these numbers will have a minus in front of it i will pull out these negative numbers and group them together and these are negative numbers the remaining numbers that did not acquire minus 
will become positive numbers or natural numbers. They usually have a positive sign in front of them. But when listing positive numbers or natural numbers, we can just write down the numbers without the plus in front of it. Now you can identify positive numbers, natural numbers, and negative numbers. Next, let's consider whole numbers. Before now, we have excluded zero from positive numbers or natural numbers and negative numbers. But with whole numbers, we are going to bring zero in. Remember, positive numbers, natural numbers, start from one. But with the introduction of zero into this family, the name becomes whole numbers. You can see that the only introduction of zero changed this name, natural number, to whole number. Whole numbers are simply natural numbers with the inclusion of zero. Now you can identify positive numbers, natural numbers, negative numbers, and whole numbers. Next, we are going to consider integers. All the positive numbers or natural numbers from 1 to infinity and all the negative numbers from minus 1 to infinity, including 0, are all referred to as integers, which is a parent name for positive numbers, natural numbers, negative numbers, and whole numbers. Instead of mentioning their names separately, you can call all of them integers rather than mentioning them separately. That is, whole numbers, which is made up of natural numbers and zero, including negative numbers, are all known as integers. Each family member is known as an integer. You can also visualize it like this. Natural number is inside whole number. If you include this family to negative numbers, they are all known as integers. Each family member is known as an integer. You can also say that all the numbers on the number line, positive numbers, negative numbers, including zero, are all called integers. And each member on the number line is simply known as an integer. And this is the family tree. Integers is the parent name for whole numbers and natural numbers. And this is the entire family tree, which is already in a separate video. And using set notation, natural numbers are inside integers. Integers are inside rational numbers. Rational numbers are inside real numbers. And real numbers are inside complex numbers. But in this video, we just defined natural numbers are inside integers. And for this complete video, check out the playlist. In integers, which comprises of positive numbers, natural numbers, negative numbers, and whole numbers, decimals and fractions have not been considered. They are excluded. The analysis of decimals and fractions is on a separate video. How big is an integer? On the integer number line, zero is a neutral reference point. As we move towards this direction, it gets bigger. Two is bigger or greater than one. Three is greater than two. Four is greater than three. Eight is greater than five. Nine is greater than everything below it. And it increases, gets bigger as it moves towards this direction. That means one is greater than everything below it. Zero is bigger or greater than minus six. Three is bigger or greater than minus seven. Integers towards this direction gets 
smaller and decreases that means as you move towards this direction the integer values decreases and as you move towards this direction the integer values increases and gets bigger let's clarify some confusion in the classification of numbers instead of saying positive numbers use positive integers or non-negative integers or simply use natural numbers in addition instead of saying negative numbers use more of negative integers in the analysis of integers but before teaching students integers the use of positive numbers is okay and before teaching students integers the use of negative numbers is still okay and natural numbers is still okay understanding this also help you to understand some exam questions i hope this was helpful